Welcome back to Hama. We are ready for the first semi-final in the men's 1,000 meters. Yun Ho Lee goes for Korea. Bronze medalist in Alberville. Mark Gagnon for Canada. Nikki Gooch goes for Great Britain. And Kim Ki-hoon for Korea. Gooch is on the inside. Then it's Gagnon of Canada. Kim, who I think broke the line there, in lane number three. And Lee for Korea in lane four. The Koreans on the outside. And Gooch tucks in in second place behind Kim. Kim Hulis, the Olympic champion. But it's Gagnon who takes over. Gagnon then from Kim, from Gooch to Lee. Oh, all the skaters skating at a very sedate pace. Really is a bit of cat and mouse. But there, number 34, Lee, round the outside from the back of the pack, right to the front. Now Gagnon in second place and Gooch right to the back. Gagnon in second place, the overall world champion in Beijing last year. So he's got the Olympic champion to contend with, the world champion. It's a monstrous task, but he has the ability. It all goes right for him. Gooch moving on the outside and slipping into third place, tucking in well. It's Gagnon who leads with three laps to go. Gagnon in front, Lee in second place. Now perhaps a battle between those two and Gooch can slip in. Gooch in third place, Lee in second, Gagnon for Canada, still holding on in front, just two laps to go. Gooch now building for his effort. This is a minor slip there, a lap and a half to go, and out goes Gagnon! Gagnon goes, and it looks like Gooch is in front now. He's going to make it. But can he? It's Kim from Gooch. And Gooch is through. Lee in third place. And Gagnon looks injured, but maybe a lot of it's in his mind. Yes, it is. So disappointed. The overall world champion does not make it through to the final. And Nikki Gooch does. And with a real chance of a medal, because anything can happen in the final. Wonderful stuff from the young man, the 21 year old from Roehampton has made it through to the final. Fantastic performance. Well, that's the name of the game, stay out of trouble. And I just sense that uh, Gagnon and Kim were in too much of a battle with each other and something could happen. Gooch being very, very sensible, just holding back, staying in third place, and he kept his distance. It was as though he was trying to read what was going on in front of him and uh, just took the advantage when the opportunity arose. You can see there, Kim right up on Gagnon. Gagnon in front for Canada. Gooch just taking a look on the inside, thinks better of it, cuts snips to the outside. And didn't seem to be any contact at all. He just missed his blade, and out he went. And the agony of defeat, rather than any injury. And in the end, Gooch qualified comfortably. Well, behind the Olympic champion, and that's what it means, not making the Olympic final for Mark Gagnon. We said before, the ice gets uh, very, very cut up, and it uh, looked to me as though Gagnon got caught in one of the ruts and uh, just couldn't control his body weight. Not the fastest time. 131.69, 131.77. And Lee fails to make it. The bronze medalist in Alberville, beaten and by Nicky Gooch. And the overall world champion and the winner of this event in Beijing last year. There he is out in front until that moment. Mark Gagnon leaves center stage, nearly takes Kim with him. And a very, very dicey moment for the Korean, but uh, he did well to avoid the Canadian and uh, made it through. So that's very heartening news for those of you watching in Great Britain on to the second semi-final here and if anything it's not quite as high a standard but uh, four immensely talented skaters the winner of the 3,000 meters in Beijing last year in the world championships Che Ji-hoon then we've got Derek Campbell from Canada
There's Jay. Eve on the two, in lane number two, skater number 30, Satoru Terao, Japan. Satoru Terao. Eve on the three, in lane number three, skater number eight, and, uh, Frederick my Blackburn, man, Canada. Frederick Blackburn, the Olympic silver medalist in Alberville, who looks so comfortable in both qualifying and quarterfinal. Two Canadians. on the inside, then Terrell, Blackburn and Campbell on the outside, and it looks like Campbell's made his move early on. But out comes Terrell, and wants to make a real race of it, he's trying to steal a march on them. Opens up a five, six meter gap straight away. But now, I think he's quite happy to settle just being out in front. Had a look then, and wondered whether to go for it all, but decides not to. Blackburn on the outside there goes Campbell. So Campbell takes up the running to route now into second place with Blackburn in third. And the Korean now, Che, right up the outside, trying to get to the front, but uh, Campbell there holding him off and a real scramble for the front. Che doing what he's done in both qualifying and quarterfinal, making his stamina tell. Massively powerful skater. The winner in 3,000 meters in the World Championships. Terrell going with him, but here comes Blackburn. Blackburn on the inside with two laps to go. Blackburn makes his move. But again, Che gets in front of him. It's Che from Blackburn, and out goes Blackburn. Taken out by Terrell. And it leaves Campbell and Che as the qualifiers. So simple now. Che can just coast round this final lap. And he's made it. Now, it'll be interesting to watch that back, but it's going to make no difference to the result because if there was any interference, I don't think it was from the top two. Uh, Terrell, I think, definitely uh, put his hand on the back of Blackburn and uh, took him out. Be interesting to see that in the slow motion. No doubt about the winner, though, for Korea. Che. My word, that really was a scrap, wasn't it? More good news for Nicky Gooch in a way, and he wouldn't choose it to happen that way, but there is a major contender, the man I must say I thought was going to win. Blackburn taken out, and he's not making it through to the final. Campbell asking if there's going to be a disqualification. We'll have to wait and see, but it's going to be irrelevant, I think. Che is through. Certainly some... Uh on flab going on between the judges. Be very interesting to see a replay. And here we are. There's Blackburn in front. Che coming through the inside. And behind him is Terrell. Now watch Terrell carefully. You really can see the uh, acceleration there of Che. Now Terrell puts his hand on the back of Blackburn, and over he goes. Well, that was it. It just needs, as you can, you know so well, Chris. Just needs a slight shift in your momentum. And he was well and truly out. I wasn't sure if Campbell was putting his hand on the back of Terrell. You're dead right, he certainly did, so... Uh... That's what he's worried about, that his hand on the back might mean his disqualification. At the moment, up on our computer, there is no problem. Che and Campbell have qualified. Blackburn and Terrell have not. And there is no question of a disqualification. Number one, Chan Ji Hong, Korea. Yep, it's being announced now. It's official. So, Frederick Blackburn is disqualified. I have to say, I think uh, Campbell must think himself very, very lucky. There they are. One Canadian through, but the surprising one. So, it'll be a final for Blackburn and Terrell, but not the one they wanted, the B final coming up later. And it's Che and Campbell who make it through to the final. Well, 
Då ska vi strax se om vi har kvar den andra semifinalen i stafett för damer. Vi är nu preparing for the second semifinal final in the ladies. So now we move on to the ladies event again. And uh, concentrate on the second semi-final. Teams, China, the Netherlands, France and the USA. Remember, Canada and Korea have qualified from the first semi-final through to the final. Russia and Italy don't make it. And in the second semi-final, we've got China, France, Holland and the USA. Skater number 110, Su Xiao Zhuo. Number 111, Wang Xiulan. 112, Yang Yang. Now how will they compare with the mighty Canadians and the Koreans? For the Frank Rikki Goldfergene from France. 115, Valerie Baritsang. 116, Sandrine Dodé. 117, Sandra de Leguise. And 118, Laure Drouet. Just to confirm that the qualifiers through to the final are two from Korea, Kim and Che, Nikki Gooch from Great Britain, and Campbell from Canada. They have made it through to the final. So Nikki Gooch just a race away, possibly, from an Olympic title, and how wonderful it would be because remember Wilf O'Reilly got the goal got two goals in Calgary but although they were hardly soft goals they were fiercely contested by the best skaters around it was only a demonstration sport at that time and uh, I know Will feels that this is very much the real thing very real though that felt in 1988 Some interesting competitors here for the USA. Kathy Turner, the Olympic gold medalist from Albaville, who is a massive star in the state, so much so that Martin Sheen's production company has bought the movie rights to her life story. A real megastar. Amy Peterson, also for the USA bronze in the 1,000 meters last year in Beijing. But it's China who probably go into this race as favorites to make it through to the final is they have greater depth so there's the olympic record which is a new one set tonight and the old one i think has just got a a couple of days not even a couple of days i think a couple of uh, maybe just an hour of life left in it So China, France, Holland, and the USA hoping to join Canada and Korea. And a very different feel here, Chris, in uh, Hammer tonight than it has been for the figure skating in past nights. Well, a bit of a party atmosphere in here. It's, uh, it's a bit like uh, when Torval and Dean were on their warm-up. There was sort of a, a, a buzz of expectation around the place and it's a bit like that in here this evening everybody come in to have a good time and uh, cheer their teams along and their confirmation of the start list for heat two in the semi-finals of the ladies 3000 meter relay please go to the start support for all the leading nations in short track Holland has got a fanatical support here and has been a leading nation but has just been overtaken a little bit in the last year or two but still has prodigious strength in depth and talent it's amazing the uh, short track nowhere near as popular in Holland and, uh, a lot of money ploughed into the long track speed skating there, but this really very much taking a back seat. 
Valerie Baritza will be starting off for France. There she is, Kathy Turner, Olympic gold medalist in Alberville. The Netherlands. And Penelope de Lella will begin for Holland. Two go through then to join Canada and Korea in the final. 27 laps of this 111 meter track. And a fair amount of movement there, not least from de Lella from Holland. That's amazing, isn't it? They've got 27 laps to go <laughs> and they're that anxious to get the first bend. It's adrenaline for you. And there she is sliding forward. So the full start actually from lane number two. And that's the French girl, Valley Baritza. So it's uh, Holland at the back and a real race on from the other three here. So China out in front. America just taking a look at the Whoa. outside, getting caught. But uh, staying out of trouble. America change over, China in front. So China leading from America. In third place, it's France. But at the moment, not a factor. Well, this race has opened up very, very early on. And uh, the USA have had a, a bit of a disaster, and they're nearly a lap behind. That's Zhang Yanmei, the 93 world champion at 500 meters in front. And I'm afraid the Americans in danger of being lapped here. China there in the lead, the French changing over. A little bit of congestion there, but uh, the Chinese keeping out the way and a good change. Important to get those changes on a clean bit of ice, keep out of the way of the other skaters and the Americans coming up behind. And a change there from the United States of America. Powering around the outside of the Chinese. A lot of work to do now. And they go roaring away. Kathy Turner doing what she can to get them back on terms. Well, remember, it's two go through. China just trying to keep with the Americans. We want to keep them in their sights. Because remember, anything can happen. China leading. And looking very comfortable. They don't want to get too near, though. They've done the hard work. They're way, way out in front. So the Americans with a lap, or probably just under a lap to qualify, but certainly a lot of work to do. That's Wang Zhulang from China. And they, like the Canadians before them, can coast round just around 1,200 meters to go. So the Americans coming up to lap. The Dutch and all kinds of problems there. Well, there wasn't really a change there from the American team. A lot of confusion. Now, I'm not sure what's going to happen because uh, there's no doubt about it, there was no changeover. A change there. Well, the Americans in a complete and utter mess. And the Chinese just making their way through comfortably through this. They're just really picking their way through the traffic. Coming up on the back of the Dutch team there. All they've got to do is play safe now. The Dutch and the French to contend with. Just keep clear of traffic and the Chinese are there. That's Wang Zhulang. And this is uh, a bit of a cakewalk for them, rather as it was for the Canadians, but the time is going to be nothing like the Canadian time. And... Uh, Everybody being lapped at the moment. So China looking very, very smooth indeed. You can see the power on the changeovers. 
just two strides down the straight, keeping wide around those bends, looking for the clean ice. Remember, they don't want to get caught up in any of those ruts. Coasting round on two feet, making doubly sure. No risks to be taken now. So the last change, but it's academic now. China coasting through, and it's Wang Zhulan who has the honor of taking them through to the bell. Not a very fast time, but it didn't need to be. They need their quick time in the final. So no problem at all. China qualify. And the USA are second. Well, my goodness, there was uh, all kinds of confusion in there. And uh, China look as though they could be a little bit of a threat to the connection.